Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of some Nuclear Throne Ultra. Go jump in again. This time I'm going to go as YV, I think. Have we done YV before? We haven't done... Oh no, we have... Have we done YV? We have done YV, haven't we? I don't, I don't remember. Let's not do YV then. Let's do, uh... Let's do someone different. Who should we go as? Um... Du, 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 du. We could do Skeleton. I've not done Skeleton yet. Reduce max HP, move slower, less accurate, and blood gamble. Don't really know what any of that means. Let's see what the skins are. Have four lives and reach the volcano on 400% screen shake as Skeleton. Wow. Okay. Um, that seems interesting. So what's Blood Gamble? It just fires my gun for free. I don't understand. Oh, wait. I'm taking damage. I'm confused by how this works. I don't know anything. I'm confused. <laughs> Two HP, hell, hell yes. It just seems to fire a regular bullet. I'm not, I'm not quite sure how Blood Gamble works. It sometimes hits me, it sometimes doesn't. I don't really know. I don't really know. Right, let's first of all let's go to the menu and whack our screen shake up. Oh, okay, I can just go down. There you go. Okay. My game crashed. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, apparently screen shake 400% is not something the game quite likes. Let me try that one more time. Yep, the game does not like that. Do not do screen shake 400% people. The game does not like it. That is currently something we cannot do. Anyhow. Yeah, don't put it on 400% at the moment at least. The game ain't gonna like it. Here we go. We're making our way through. And I do have some new things that I want to do on this run. I need to figure out how this works. So I think it's after every so many um, so many shots, maybe. Or maybe it's like a 10% chance every time I fire bad, bad damage. Maybe it's like a 10% chance every time I fire to, um, to get hurt, I guess. That's where the gamble comes into it. I don't know. I'm figuring it out as I go here, I guess. It's interesting though. I like the idea. So I can I can like use my weapons for free, but I'm gonna have to be a little bit more cautious with gambling my HP away. Well, that was a free shot there. That was a free shot there. Okay, I quite like this. This is pretty cool. It seems like with some weapons, this could be incredibly powerful. Also, as well, it doesn't. You don't have to wait for the weapon to reload. You can fire it as fast as you want, which seems like really crazy. I oh, know inversion magnet. I will grab this real quick though. Um, well, the other thing was having four lives. I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work. Pop rifle is better here, I think. Yeah, having four lives. Grenade revolver. Seems pretty good. I like it. I mean, I am a little bit sad about how goddamn slow this guy moves, I've got to say. But we'll deal with that as it comes. Also, any way to protect our, heal our health right now is going to be really good. Cool. Okay, we're back up to full HP. Uh, so that's one life we've got now. One extra life. Yeah, I'm trying to think how we get all four. So we can get one from this. We can get one from um, from Last Wish. We can get a one from um, killing the certain bosses in a loop. I don't know how we get the four is my current conundrum. 
And there must be, obviously, another way that I'm not thinking of to get an additional life. But at the minute, it's not jumping out to me. God damn, I really need extra feet because this movement speed is abysmal. Oh, wait. Um, we've got enough... Uh, we've got explosive weapons so we can go down to pizza sewers if we would like. Pizza time. Grab myself a golden screwdriver. Why not? Right, keep it moving through here. Careful of the old turtly fellas. Okay, we're good to go. And we got level 4 as well there. Very nice. Um... I'm going to take patience and try and get uh, something that's going to help us almost with that. Remember, we're going to have Big Boss coming in here, so we don't want to stick around for too long. Yeah. My bad. On this stage, I just shouldn't fuck around. That shark dude is so insane. There's no need to ever stick around when he's there. I'm just trying to grab a better golden weapon. Right. Keep it moving, though. But yeah, I think Blood Gamble's going to be something we don't use very much early on. But later in the game, it seems like it could be really good. Or if we're out of ammo and we sort of need it, it's going to be really good. Get us back up to 8 HP. That's nice. Makes me happy. It also means more HP to gamble with as well, which is pretty useful. Version magnet, thank you. I do liketh the inversion magnet. Excuse me. I can use it as a melee weapon as well, i got to remember that. But yeah, getting inverted flaws is always good. My god. Pop rifle. I like the way this does exactly enough damage to kill him in five shots. He has 100 HP and it does exactly enough. Good stuff though. Ooh, that's the floor, that's the floor already. Have we even seen that green canister yet? Yes, we have apparently. I always forget what I've seen and what I haven't seen. Um, Better blood gamble odds seems very useful as this guy. <laughs> Look at that. That's so good. Okay, this character seems very fun. I think if you can get more consistent healing as well, even better. The fact that it ignores reload is kind of insane. And the fact that obviously it doesn't spend ammo is even better. Cool. Through we go. I guess at this point we take Bolt Marrow, consider using a Bolt Weapon. Makes our life a little easier. Don't know what the froggy does. Get all these rads. Ah, oh, I missed some of them. Damn it. Holy shit. That was very scary. Is that a splinter on there? I think it is. Good bit of splinter on this is really nice when we've got Bolt Marrow. Uh, so Last Wish is one of our other lives, I think. Extra feet, so nice. I'll take Last Wish, though, here for that extra life. I want to try and get the four extra lives if I can. Although I don't know how plausible it's going to be. Okay. Here's this. Golden Assault Rifle. Nice. I'm going to stick with the Aversion Magnet for now, though. Keep moving through. Got a Rocket Guy here. Yeah, kind of had a feeling he was going to hit me there. Not ideal. Oh, shit. I didn't expect that. Bit of 
flame on this thing too. Morph pistol, nice. Gonna need some healing game. Right, at the minute we can't afford to gamble. Okay, now we can. I really like the idea behind this character. I'm pretty sure this character is in vanilla, but it doesn't work this way. I'm pretty sure that it's been reworked for the mod. Good, good. Ion Teleporter sounds interesting. Right, three we go. Um, and then we've got... Rabbit Paw, I guess, for more health. Okay, I'm killing a bunch of stuff here. It's all going quite well. So many rads just in a row there. Swarm is very nice on top of this. Is that everything? Seems like we've about cleared the whole area here. Okay, we got one more guy over here. We got Swarm and uh, Splinter on this, which is really good. Um, go with the 30% increased damage, why not? Okay, now we got to deal with this. <laughs> oh, with the throne, but that is a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Uh, let's replace Flame with Bouncer. I think Bouncer could be better. That's That's a lot of fun. Okay, beautiful stuff. Right. Get in there before all the rads start to disappear. Nice. Disco Razor, I'm okay. We're getting to a lot of the inverted floors here, but I'm, I'm liking the inverted floors. That fucking explosion almost got me there. No, I don't want to go through that. It's fine. Okay. Right. This time, we're going to take a crown. We're going to be taking crowns pretty often now because there's one of them that's really fucking good. We go for this one here. Which one is it? Um, This one here. Very, very useful for getting... um. What's it called? Are you not dead yet? There you go, you are now. Cool. We're through here now as well. Up to level 8. Um, probably want to go for more healing here. But yeah, I can like do a right click and then a fire. Right click and then normal fire to do like a double shot really quick without gambling too much. Nice stuff. Through here we go. There you go. Golden stuff getting unlocked. See, the courtyard is where we can go and we went before. We are not ready for that yet. <laughs> Very much not ready for that yet. Right. Let us go, boss man. Let us go. Cool. Now, the question is, how much do I blood gamble here?
Okay, can you, can you stop with these balls of fury, please? Okay, he's got to be nearly dead now. There you go. We got there in the end. Beautiful stuff. I wonder what the ultra for this guy is going to end up being. Um, impact wrist is really good on loops. We'll take it. Oh, God. Dude. Okay. Thank God I got this. That was stupid. Back up to level four. Um, I'll take trigger fingers. I'll take rhino skin. I'll take bloodlust. I don't have a uh, thingy anymore though. What's it called? No, 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 no. You stopped me in there. Um, the one that makes my bolt marrows. <laughs> That's the one. Bolt marrow. Okay. Um, take that. Take that. We clearly need a better weapon at this point. Oh my god! Fucking stop hitting me! Everything's hitting me and I'm scared. Twenty eight per cent rads. How am I not a 20... Uh, 281%. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Why I'm not reaching that mark. Oh, I don't have Throne Butt anymore either. Shit. I'm using my uh, Blood Gamble like crazy, but I don't have goddamn Throne Butt anymore. Got to be very, very careful about that. Okay. Second stomach is probably pretty goddamn good for us here. Um, as a strong spirit. As is this. We don't have 50% reds right now. Which one of these can we get? Cheshire Cat, good, good. And the rest of them we cannot get right now. I think this is the third one of these gives you an extra life. Okay, three we go. I mean, the damage we're able to put out with just a basic level one crossbow here is pretty insane. But without, uh... Herming and better piercing, it's nowhere near as good. What bosses we got going on here? Please stop, please stop! Fucking boy sucking on me! Dude, stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! Holy shit! Well, that was annoying. Okay. Good first stage. Looking for Throne Butt. Yeah, I'm gonna say Throne Butt seems insane as this guy. Take the inversion magnet for now. Take the pop rifle. 
Good, good. Yeah, I gotta say, Inversion Magnet, being able to just get a bunch of extra stuff is really nice. Maybe we should start with that other throne, though. I don't know, it seems like it'd be good for unlocking golden weapons really early. To just start with that throne, but it means we don't get any weapon mods ever. Which is a bit sad, unless we get Power Craving and we get one pair gun. But dead, sir. Good, good. And that's all she wrote for you. The crossbow with power craving was pretty good. Um, you know, with blood gamble was pretty good. I think I'm going to take rhino skin again. That seems super valuable as this guy. Right. Just keep moving. Hope for another inverted portal. We can go YV's mansion once again. Stay away from me. Goddamn the ammo. I don't know how we're able to use that much ammo and still have some left. There's the inverted. Got sucked straight into it. Didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Unfortunately, not the same tier of weapon here. Go down the corridor first and then come back. Okay, there's our uh, thingy look. Bullet, blood, shotgun. Could be pretty good, actually. Seems pretty good. Add projectile speed onto it, why not? I don't know if the projectile speed does anything for this, but... Give it a go. That's pretty cool. I'm able to rapid fire the hell out of this thing. Okay, through we go. Um, I think I want to take Bloodlust here. Any ability to heal seems really useful for us. There needs to, I think there needs to be a more um, obvious sound indicator for when you get hit with Blood Gamble. Right now, the sound indicator is is like there isn't really one. You just there's a visual indicator, but not a sound one really. Unless I'm wrong. No, there's no sound indication. Isn't it like the sound's the same? I'd like it if the sound was a little bit different if you uh, got hit on a blood gamble. So then you could just spam and then pay attention to when you're getting hit and how much health you have left without having to look. That golden splinter gun I just got. Very nice. I think I got a second stomach there. I probably should have taken that. Good stuff. Careful of the rocket guy. He fires off quite a many shots. Good, good. Reload speed on this thing. Bouncer SMG. I've heard Bouncer SMG is one of the best uh, starting weapons you can get. Pretty happy to have that. As part of my roster of stuff. Cool. Through we go, once again. There are big boys like that. You just want to spam blood thingy at. Because you know your weapon's not going to do it otherwise. Let's go through here. We don't go through here often. It's scary, this area, but it's fun. And I don't think I've seen the inverted version of this area either, which could be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the inverted area. Oh, excuse me. Or a toxic crossbow. That does sound fun. Through we go. A little worried about my weaponry coming down here. Also, my current HP. Have I seen the inverted version of this area? I can't remember. Um, scarier face, trigger fingers. Let's get a scarier face. I don't think I have. This looks new. 
Okay, they're electric down here. I definitely haven't been down here. Okay, those guys do bouncing shots. Charge splinter gun. Take frost on this bad boy. Okay, at this point, we'll take the heavy pop gun rather than the inversion magnet, I think. I'm liking the inverted areas, but it's getting a bit risky now. Oh my god, so much stuff. Splinter Mace is always fun, though. Right, um... Go with Plutonium Hunger here. Okay, we've got Cube Boss in this area, remember? I always forget about Cube Boss. Keep our distance from these fellas. Honestly, heavy pop gun here is going to be amazing. Yeah, heavy pop gun does quite a bit of damage. Although, the ammo consumption is hefty. Oh shit, I didn't see you in the corner there. Bitch boy. Jaw crusher. Now, heavy pop gun is the way to go from now on. Okay, so not Cube Boss this one, it's Cube Boss next one, I think. Um, I guess Flexible Elbows is probably pretty good. Dude, how did I not kill that assassin there? There you go. Dude, these guys are insane. Okay, it's not very good with a weapon like that. I am out of ammo on it right now. Blood Gamble isn't good with weapons like that, really. I love their bloodlust with this. Because we Blood Gamble and kill stuff and get our uh, HP back. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get ammo, so this is going to be a little touchy. Okay, we got it. Oh, goddamn. Leave you alive, sheep. I don't know what you do, but I'll leave you alive for now. The frost on this thing is very nice. Gotta say. Running out of ammo on it, though. Right, um... We'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Where are we going? I think if you kill that pink sheep, it lets you go to the Cheshire Cat area. And if you don't, it takes you to this area. Let's be careful here, because things aren't going too hot. Let's try and use our heavy thingy again. That's pretty good stuff. I'm worried about my HP once again. I'm always worried about my goddamn HP. Luckily, this thing does insane damage. Hey, there's some HP, finally. No ammo for this bad boy right now. Okay, this is not ideal. Really hate fighting this guy. This guy, like, with his circling ability, just confuses the hell out of me. It's a really cool boss, though. Really well designed. But I can't fucking hit him! There you go. I got him eventually. <laughs> I was having a really hard time hitting him there. Through we go. We is here. Stop sucking me in. Dude, this thing's so good, but the ammo consumption on it is ludicrous. Oh, we got our Ultra Mod. I do want to try something on this stage as well, if I can. If I take this as my secondary weapon, apparently if I put a gold weapon in here, it changes this, this level, which I'm interested in. 
Reroll all your mutations, get patience as an extra choice every time. When you loop, um, you can get ultra again. Normal movement speed, normal accuracy. Failed blood gambles will cost five times ammo instead of health. If your ammo is negative, it will cost health again. Blood gamble can be used while reloading. Um, immune while stationary. Successful blood gambles makes you immune for a short duration. Failed blood gamble creates a blood explosion and gives three lives. Ah, there it is. So I think I'm going to take... So I've got this. I think I'm going to take this to gain the four lives. Oh, wait. I don't have four lives right now. Okay, that didn't work the way I thought it would. But yeah, we've got the golden version of this area, which is really goddamn cool. Yeah, that didn't really work the way I thought it would. We got the three extra lives here that, as an ultra, not very good. I really only wanted it for the uh, bee skin. I'm having a really, really hard time killing these guys. I just can't goddamn hit them, and they've got melee, so they keep destroying my shots. I'm out of ammo. I'm going to have to blood gamble here. This is not good. This does not bird well for us here. Yeah. This does not bird well at all. It's all melee down here. Wh where the fuck is my ammo chest? There it is. Yeah, there's nothing I could do there exactly. Golden bazooka. Dude, this guy. I'm not having a good time here, am I? <laughs> Just let me die. But this is really cool going to this gold area. Really cool. Right, um... Let me quickly... Go back to the main menu. And see what we've got going on here. So if I if I enable this crown, how do I choose which crown I want? I don't know. Okay, I guess I'll just do that. Oh, there you go, I see. Oh wait, I can choose any crown? It's crazy. Are these golden sheep? Dude! Golden Morpho Rig gives you golden sheep. That's amazing. I love that. That's such a good touch. Also, Morpho Ray is pretty goddamn good. Cool stuff. Why is it put the portal all the way over there? God damn it. So yeah, I think I need Last Wish and then uh, to take that Ultra. The amount of sheep here is insane. I like it. Can I destroy this skull? Oh, it's, it's closed up anyway, it doesn't matter. This thing's kind of hard to hit specific things with. Trigger fingers, let's go for that. Blood Gamble on big enemies with this thing seems like a good choice. I don't know if I can, like, kill the sheep to get anything. I should probably try that when I get another gun. Nah, they don't give me anything. Ah, that Morpho Red does, like, fuck all damage to that guy. As if I can choose any of these. Like, just... Yeah, I didn't realize you could just choose any crown. That's pretty cool. Bouncer SMG. Very good to start with. One of the better ones, apparently. Okay, just walk right into all that, shall I? This time we get Splinter Gun. I'm so grateful the developer added um, random golden weapons after I asked. Like, within, like, days of me asking as well. I love that.
It's just such a cool little feature to like, I know that obviously some people just want to use the optimal best golden weapon to start with, but like it's so fun to just be able to have random starting weapons because I feel like being to start with a shotgun or sprinter gun, it informs your build and how you, how you uh, build your mutes a little bit. At least it does for me. Like I said, I tend to take bolt marrow a lot earlier if I start with a weapon like this. Good stuff. Okay, we are through. Like that, bolt marrow. Lovely. Gives us a really, really powerful start. Especially with a splinter gun rather than a crossbow, because splinter guns do the same damage among all their like, shots, but it means I can spread that shots between multiple enemies. Which is pretty spicy. Not taking another weapon right now, because it means I'll only get ammo for this gun. It's pretty darn useful. Back muscle as well, why not? Once I get thrown, but I'll start gambling again. I think, honestly, I think gambling without thrown, but is is a bit too high of a risk early game. L late game, when you've got more healing and protection going on, it's okay, but early game, it's like, nah, don't use it until you've got thrown, but. Unless there's like a reason, like you don't have any ammo left or something. Ooh, we got an inverted portal. No, I want you to destroy that. God damn it. Go with that bad boy. Beautiful stuff. Ain't got no worries right now. Give me all them reds. I knew that was going to happen. It's going to spew out all these babies directly on top of me. I have no time for you. There's an ultra chest for us. Ah, bugger, I can't even open that one. Some of them you just can't open, I don't really get why, why that is, but... It is what it is. Ooh, they do give a lot of rads when they get popped open, though, by the, uh, portal. Yeah, Rhino Skin, thank you. Good stuff, more golden weapons unlocked is fun stuff for us. And, yep, bit of ammo there. They gave me explosive ammo for some reason. Don't know why. Certainly shouldn't have. Where is our golden chest? There it is. Golden Kraken pistol. Beautiful. I'll take that. Why not? Okay. Here we go. We are destroying. I love having dual golden weapons like this. Just looks awesome. And this one's just oh impressively good. Early game at least. Late game this thing does fall off a bit, but early game it's real strong. Cool. We got the toxic line and toxic crossbow. I think I'm okay, thanks. Okay. We are good. Oh, nope, we're not good. There's a bunch of crows down here, apparently, that are pissing off people. And that people is me. Where are you? For God's sake, crows. Oh, there's another one over there now! Oh my god! The worst designed enemy ever. Don't you dare say that you've come over here now. You're a shit. <laughs> An actual shit. Um, so we take last wish. Why am I getting laser pistols this late into the game? Riddle me that game. Riddle me that, please. There's so many of these spawner guys this time around. What the hell? Newt was there. Level wasn't over, so I was like, there's definitely one of these dudes around this corner. There 
There you go. Just wanted to get that over with quickly. Spammed just a little bit. I love that. This character's a lot of fun. Anything that's risk-reward, I'm always going to find a lot of fun. And this character is the embodiment of risk-reward. Should I get rid of those saws? Okay. This weapon's still doing a great job. Able to pretty much just walk through most of these areas. Mostly unscathed. Taking a racer. Feed? No thanks. Um, one hit wonder. Game mode, apparently. Okay, nice. Something. Uh, I guess I'll take extra feet now for that movement speed boost that we're looking for. I think that feed thing is to get to another level, but I don't really want that right now. Okay, we got a car-wielding guy down here. It's incredibly dangerous for us. There you go. Okay. Don't worry too much about missing out on rads. Good. And we are on our way through in just a second. Oh, dude, this stage is way bigger than I thought it'd be. Frost assault rifle, yes, please. Good, good. And there we go. We'll open up. We'll open for business. And we go straight on through. Yeah, I do want to try and do that courtyard again, but... I want to wait until I'm more powerful. Wait until I've got my ultra and stuff. <clears throat> that was lovely. <laughs> Didn't even lose any health from my gambles there either. Didn't even lose any health. Where are the rest of these bitches at? Okay, this is a short stage. Heavy shovel. A little bit risky. Super slow swing speed. Cool. Be careful again here. I just walked directly into an enemy there and took some bad damage. Gonna need some healing as well, please, game. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, there you go. There's the healing. There's some more healing. Game knows what I want and it gives it to me. Okay, next stage. Um, Probably Bloodlust here, yeah. I don't know who the fuck fired that fireball there. That's new to me on this area. Was it that little bat, maybe? Maybe I've just normally killed those before they get a chance to do anything. Okay, good. I think boss will be spawning any second here, yep. Okay, the boss can be frozen. This is good stuff. Unfortunately, I'm still having a hard time hitting him. Regardless. This again, really? I don't even know how much health he has left. He's gotta be closer, Dad. There you go. Took a bit of doing, but we got there. Cool. Not too bad, not too bad. Just wanna get my ultra mutation, I'll be happy. Still don't have thrown butt though, so we just gotta be a little careful on gambling. We could put our golden weapon in there again and uh, go to another level. Definitely scares me though, because last time it was pretty tricky down there. Okay, do I want to go down there? I don't think I do. I think I want to try and get my ultra. Um... Just 
Strong spirit, I guess. Just in case. God. These guys are coming at me fast. No, thank you. Hey, the healing comes in. Hope we can get ultra before the boss here, but we'll see. Get those out of the way so I can still get these rads. Yeah, the damage on this thing isn't amazing, but the, the freezing ability for that safety is pretty nice. Doesn't look like we're going to get ultra here. Bad hit there as well. Oh my god. Die already, big dog. This is really annoying. I have a really hard time killing these guys right now, and I'm on really low health. What police is down there? I thought I killed them all. Dude, stop spawning fucking police. Oh my god. How are you not dead? I've been firing you for so long. Days. Oh, dude, our weaponry here is so bad for this fight. I can't even do weapon gamble. That was such a bad hit as well, what the hell? Dude, he fucking just sat on top of the goddamn hell. So stressed out right now. How is he not dead? I'm almost at the end of the stage. Okay, thank God. Holy shit. Right, now I take this. Yay, I did it. I got the bee skin. How are you not? There you go. Huh! Right, we can finally change weapons now as well. I don't know why I've stuck with these weapons this whole time. Not been the best idea for me, has it? Okay. Check out all of y'all. So many popo. -po. The Splasma Gun. Ooh, I like that. Splasma's cool. Splasma seems good. Oh god, I instantly got hit. And put down to low HP here. That fucking van, goddammit. Okay, this thing seems very good at clearing out big areas. I like that about it. Right, looking for whatever other weapons gonna end up being here. Having a hard time in the small corridor, though. Okay. Okay. Oh, fucking get off me! Stop spawning underneath me, please.
And the police just keep on fucking spawning. Bloodlust is healing us up again. Okay, good. Both of you are dead. And the guys still only have 100 HP, which is nice. Sucker Punch. I'm interested by what the Sucker Punch is. Seems good, but it's very single target. Doesn't seem good for what we're doing. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so fucked here, aren't I? Yep. Oh my god. Use my extra lives. Now that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. The Sucker Punch also isn't that good. It's basically like a strong slugger. Um... Yeah, dude, I'm just dying constantly. Let's let's end this run where it is. We managed to achieve what we wanted to achieve. I don't know, to be fair. Managing to kill pretty much everything. Maybe I can keep this going. Uh, efficient heavy slugger. I don't know what that means. But all the efficient part of that means. Made it through, I guess. We go with... Um... Tough Shell, Rhino Skin, Trigger Fingers, Throne Butt, Strong Spirit, Boiling Veins. Okay, at least it's reloading fast when I'm uh, killing stuff. Just keep pushing forward. I think it's efficient because it maybe has a little bit of piercing. It feels like. Okay, good. Oh, how am I not hitting these guys? Get out of here. I'm all out of ammo as well. Okay, we got second stomach. Plutonium hunger. And we get we get to take another three lives. Do we? No? 50% chance to die or to get two random ultra mutations from another character. Doesn't include things you can't use, such as Plant Snare. Um, hmm. I guess I'll take that. Why not? That stole ammo from me. I need that ammo. I just got ran over instantly, and the 50% chance did not proc. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's quickly go back and check out the ultra skin. Uh, sorry, the thingy skin that we got. Oh, look at him. He's shiny. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Very fun episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.